Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is an energy reading. So please take these messages wherever, however they resonate in your life. It's your message. If you're looking for a personal message, I do do those. Please check out my website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Everything's over there, the extendeds, um, all the services that I provide for personal services. Uh, take a look, take a look. Well, there is future focused. So there is a forwardness here, like looking toward the future. We have claim your independence and dream the world into being. Maybe this is only a dream or aspiration, but there does seem to be a lot of focus on, I want to be alone. I want to do this by myself. I want to feel independent or which direction am I supposed to go from this point on? It does not in any way indicate that there is a separation of any sort or anything like that. This is simply aspiration. Like I'm dreaming. I want to do this by myself. There's something here that you want to like put into motion or take charge of and move forward. And there's a question here because it is the future. Where do I go now? Where do I go next? So that's what came out front and center. So there, it, there seems to be either something going on right now that is suggesting you feel like you have to be more independent or become more independent or there has been some change and you're like okay this is my reaction to it hold on we're gonna we're gonna get these cards coming out see the big picture and nothing is wasted so there is lessons that have been learned by zooming out and looking at things from a broad perspective or looking into the future. I don't mean psychically, I just mean from, because this is Taurus energy, it's very much, uh, it's grounded, but it's grounded as in I'm seeing in the distance. So there is this something has given you perspective. Whatever is happening now, it has given you perspective and you're starting to realize, okay, I need to make plans for when I am by myself or I have to do things on my own. This may also not be a bad thing. This could be future planning, 401ks, IRAs, that kind of energy. It could very much be something to set me up for the future. But ultimately, there is a little bit of a red light here, a little bit of a warning that says, I have, there's got to be some prep here. What comes next? That, it, that question keeps coming up, and I don't know why yet, but, but hang with me. Right in the center. And this is not sloped in the direction of the future. This is, this is right in the center. We have be generous of spirit. So this is also competence in the self. This is also foresight. But this is d determining your future rather than seeing it. So having the strength and being brave to sort of just have confidence in, or knowing where you're going. And then you see clearly now. So you see something with a lot of clarity and confidence is here. The truth, this is also Aquarius Leo energy. So these are major opposites between the crowd mind and the leadership, right? The, these, these contradictions, these extremes, be fearless and bold. Something is not intimidating you at all. There is an acceptance here of what the future holds and it is no regret. It is just, how do I move on from this? How do I move forward? There's a beautiful determination here that comes from no need to look back. There's a certainty that plans have to be made for the future or where you're headed. This could be beautiful. You could be buying a new home. 
but there is definitely a determination now that the future is where to put your energy hold on because we do have something from the past and nothing comes out on my board in the past unless it's catalyzed or have something to do with what's going on now we have once again um once again laying out in the direction of the future but on its side be here now and open to infinite possibilities but you were always future focused um this could imply your inability to stay in the moment always looking at what's going to happen or always trying to plan ahead or always needing to see in advance um be here now or it just indicates that for a while now you have been planning for this or recognizing it realizing this was on its way it was coming it is very happy energy and open to infinite possibilities this sense of the future everything is the future and now there is this determination of i am making a move on on the direction that i'm heading all of this is still implication though we have got to get deeper so um what is this about i i think that's what i want to ask first and foremost why all this rush or maybe enthusiasm toward the future what is this the chariot something to do with family so now it's almost like you kind of knew that this was going to happen this was sort of rolling maybe actually consistently but you knew that it was an inevitability it has something to do with family and it has something to do with progress so everybody moving forward the way that they should knowing that this was going to happen knowing that this was an inevitability this could be one of those big you know saturn return moments or north square to north node moments or nodal return moments in your life or it could be it it just feels like you know you plan for the future but when the future finally arrives it's always kind of a shock as how did we get here so quickly where do we go from here but you already had that on the boiler because what you predicted is coming out now it is revealing itself now and your future plans will start to be put into motion now you see clearly which direction to head which way to go things this week are going to become very clear as to the right choice to make from this point because things have come to pass and it already is confirming you knew this would happen this could be marriage this could be you knew that things were headed this way as in children growing up and and moving on or not coming home for the holidays or something like that this is this would mark a cornerstone in your life path that you that once upon a time seems so far away so far away is right now and now you're like okay where do i go from here oh my god the things that we were just thinking about a moment ago now they're our reality the future is closer than we think that is what i think that th this is what's coming out for you because intuitively you were connected to this and this is divine timing so but good news here is nothing is out of play nothing is so much a surprise as how quickly you you got here right and even though you can predict and you can plan you can't emotionally prepare yourself for the recognition of of a milestone reached and the recognition of okay everything has to change again not because it has to but because it's just an inevitability of life moving on oh la di oh la da life goes on right that's what's happening you have the strength and there's a very incur the strength card comes out so this is the ability to face your fears your fears of being undermined, your fears of not having your fears of 
of being swiped or, or, or you're afraid that it's almost like you're afraid somebody's going to take this from you, but I don't think it's because there's actual foul play here. I think it's because it really is going all in the right direction and it's too good to be true. But it is true and it's weird. This is just emotional reaction to, you know, what was once just fantasy or aspiration becoming reality. This is the emotional reaction to that. How can this be true? It's all going to fall apart. Everything is going well, but then there are these thoughts that are undermining you. Now, why do I know the future is looking so bright and that these fears are most likely unfounded? We got this that came out in the future. And this is happiness and abundance. This is a marriage. This is your cup runneth over, fulfillment. You're still going to you're still going to be together, connected or Maybe somebody, at the very least, because we do have the Seven of Swords here, somebody didn't tell you about something. But now we have to rush to get to the future. This could be a shotgun wedding. You know, this sense of, okay, we, we better hurry up and go, or somebody's rushing into their future, though it does seem to be joyous and happy, the rush is on. We're getting a little into it now, aren't we? Let's stop and get a moon card because I think that will reveal what is hidden. Um, remember, there's always an extended reading after this reading. I hope you guys will join me for. We have communication is key. There's some information that's coming into you that you did not know. But once again, I want to reiterate, you have a lot of wonderful cards on the table. So it's not necessarily bad news, but it's certainly surprising news. Nothing that you can't handle. You knew it was an inevitability anyway. I just don't think you thought it would be this quick. And this has got to do with Cancerian energy and Ace of Cups, which is simply, you know, motherhood becoming a mother or moving forward with family or you have to make a decision about your family and the future sooner than you thought you would a decision but the decision is clear now let's get sorry about that guy let's get some details here what is the communication that comes in or it's just that you need to communicate with somebody important right now and let them know and be honest with each other and speak with truth because the truth is you guys are more on the same page than you think and the future is right upon you. There, there is definitely a, a coming together, a, co a connectivity. So for those of the Capricorns who are relating more to there's information coming in, what is the information that's coming in? Something to do with the King of Cups, something to do with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We already have that. The devil is here. Capricorn, that would be you when you show up in your reading. Something about the, a Capricorn and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Something you've been thinking about for a while. Maybe getting married, getting together, purchasing a new place, a new home. Thinking about going into business. There's a sense of laying out down that foundation now. You've been thinking about this for a while. <clears throat> um, there's something here about, about finding a compromise, making a truce as to what the two of you were going to do or maybe how you were going to plan this wedding or how you were going to plan this new adventure of yours. But communications about this come in, okay? So once again, also not so bad. What's revealed? This is the King of Cups keeps coming up. You're dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, somebody who does like to keep things close to their chest. They're very loving person. Uh, it's got to do with money, financial, um, financial prosperity, some sort of work or finances coming in. Um, somebody was confused about this. There were a lot of options or opportunities. This could be about a new job, a new position, not having found what they wanted, or simply um, 
I did hear in a little way you didn't see this coming, but I think you did. You just didn't look at once I said you didn't see it coming that quickly. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I just want details. That's what I want. Let me say this. If you are dealing with, especially a masculine, not necessarily male, but a masculine water sign, adult, and things have been confusing or their intents or their thoughts or their feelings have been confusing the crap out of you, Capricorn, that's what this communication is about. There had been like a pause or a rest period a thought period, processing period, or learning period. Um, now this has become clear. Something has become very clear, if not official. Ace of Cups is there's abundance. Your cup runneth over. Okay. Okay. Three of Cups is here. There's some sort of celebration or happiness or people being happy for you. Prosperity. Making more, maybe making a lot of people happy. So my happy news to you before we go to the extended is there is going to be something very beautiful to celebrate by the end of this week. Let's try to get the details. I'll see you guys there.